Hey everybody, God bless you. Brother Brian here. Welcome back to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. Oh my Lord, even as well, as I was greeting you, I can feel God's presence coming down on me. The weather is beginning to change here where I am, Northern Virginia. I have the sliding door open over here just a little bit, getting some a cool breeze. I'm excited. I feel joy in the air. The weather's changing. The Lord is moving. He's always moving in the background and though we may not see every single thing or perceive or understand what he's doing as christians true christians that is we walk by faith not by sight right we don't spend our time saying well god said this and i didn't see anything that sounds just like the israelites and how did it turn out for them maybe we should go back and read that in exodus right so we're not going to be like them. Even the book of Hebrews warns us about that. We are full of the Holy Spirit. We choose to have faith. We choose to trust in God and grow in God and get out of the baby diapers and get out of drinking only spiritual milk. We cannot be full grown men and women still drinking spiritual milk and expect that we're actually going to understand God. No, not going to happen. We need to mature. We need to move on to eating solid food. And the book of Hebrews talks about that as well. Anyway, okay, so I am excited. I'm going to share a few things. It's going to be a little bit different. I have my dream journal from 2021. And the main thing I'm going to share with you today in this video is a dream I had regarding Donald Trump. It's super short, actually, much shorter than the normal. But as we make our way to reading that, I'm, I thought it'd be nice if I just read a couple of other things that happened around the same time period. May not even relate to DJT, but it relates to either myself or in general about the world. I just thought it'd be nice to kind of share something different, kind of give you a sneak peek into the type of things that happens to me, dreams, visions, encounters, uh, things I hear in the spirit and whatnot. <coughs> so uh, today, by the way, is March 15th, 2022. We are halfway through the month of March and I can feel it. I know God is moving. I know that last week on March 11th, that was an important date. Some things I really can't explain it. I just feel it. And I will touch briefly on what I believe it relates to because I was looking at my journal and I believe I found a clue to why. Personally, I believe tomorrow, 316, March 16th, is also significant. And I have a couple of things that I'm sensing as to why, but, um, wow, this month, and then there's the 20th, uh, first day of spring, Baron Trump's birthday. It also relates to the dream I had, which I recently uploaded and whatnot. So anyway, let's just go through a few of these things. We'll call it a day and I'll be back later tonight with a prophetic word to share. Amen. Okay, so let me begin with the last Trump dream I shared with you was from from was a dream that was referenced from last year, which was February 27th, 2021, last year, okay? Hope and many of you have seen that. Um, it had to do with Trump moving through three sections and me helping him, helping the generation, the young child and whatnot. All right, so Actually, on that same day, I had three visions, all right? Now, I'm going to share one with you because the other two I already shared in a previous video. So this vision, completely unrelated to politics and whatnot, but I thought it'd be cool and just to share with you. So in this vision, I also had last year, February 27th, 2021, and this is what I saw. So as I, as I was getting up from bed... <coughs> All of a sudden, you know, as you're waking up, you're not fully awake yet. I see what I perceive to be a portal in my, um, where my ceiling is like a portal. 
okay, a round portal. I perceived it in my spirit, and I perceived that it was a portal between heaven, okay, God's heaven, and earth, and it seemed that I was seeing various people looking down into me. Now, I'm in my bed, <laughs> but this is what I saw. This is what I perceived. It wasn't extremely clear. It, it was just a knowing and a glimpse. And I felt people were looking in on me as just like Kat Kerr had mentioned before many times on Elijah's streams and on her videos on her Facebook where she talks about how there are portals in heaven where God allows the people of God, the saints of God, to look down from time to time into the earth and in the affairs of the earth and so forth. When I saw this, I perceived that I was seen at that moment some of the cloud of witnesses. And you can look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 regarding that oh <clears throat> as well as the last first in uh, hebrews in hebrews 11. in fact I have my bible here Let, let's just read that <clears throat> yes okay so the very uh let's read the, the last two verses of hebrews 11. so verse 39 and verse 40 then we're going to go into hebrews 12 verse 1 which explains what i'm saying and what i believed um, I was watching. <clears throat> Verse 39 of Hebrews 11 says, And all these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise. Verse 40, God, having provided something better for us, that's you and I, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. So do you realize the cloud of witnesses themselves Okay, now you can go read Hebrews 11, and it speaks of various um, people in the Hall of Fame of Faith. Okay, okay, it talks about Enoch, it talks about Noah, it talks about Abraham, Sarah, how about Joseph? Yes, I'm skimming through right here, but you can go, uh, maybe you should read that today. It also mentions Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and the other prophets. Amen. So it goes to speak about all of their faith and how they overcame. And so here we read in verse 40, God having provided something better for us. Now Paul's talking about those in the present, but that includes you and I. Okay. Something better for us that they, referencing the those in the scripture in the chapter and many others that they should not be made perfect apart from us can you believe that so they are in heaven but yet they though they have a glorified body hallelujah they themselves yet have not been made perfect because it says right here they should not be made perfect apart from us. So there is something that they are waiting on. They're waiting for us to finish our race. And there's going to be something happening where we will all be made perfect together. That's pretty awesome. Now, Hebrews 12 verse 1. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded, surrounded in the present, present tense, we are, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Okay, so there's a scripture regarding this vision that I had that supports it. A great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. For who the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. <clears throat> Amen. So there is that scripture. Maybe some of you had never seen it where it talks about the cloud of witnesses. But yes, I personally do believe that there are many of God's faithful saints 
in heaven that the Lord allows to interact here, even at times, because just because they've accomplished their assignment on earth doesn't mean that when they get to heaven, that they're just sitting around on a, you know, floating on a cloud, you know, waiting for an angel to feed them grapes or something. This is some distorted idea of heaven. Heaven is not boring. Heaven is fun. Heaven is full of complete bliss, love, joy, everything that is of God, it's in heaven. And we, in our own limited minds, just like I used to, right, until God began to open my awareness to his ways, not just open in general, right? We're not going to be open to the devil. We're talking open and aware to the ways of God and the character of God and the nature of God. God has so much to do. And there are some, many saints, prophets, apostles in heaven that the Lord allows to be a part of the cloud of witnesses that interact with the affairs on the earth. God can have someone come and deliver a message to you in a dream, in a vision. <clears throat> you could be caught up in the spirit and you'll be in a different realm and you'll meet one of these saints. Yeah, it's possible. So, now you might wonder if I've had any uh, encounters. Actually, I have had a handful. These are things I don't normally talk about because most people can't handle or believe these things. Um, I'll say this briefly. <clears throat> there was a man of God in 2017. Okay, now this was a time when I was just coming back to the Lord after about three years of kind of straying off the path a little bit. Um, and so I had an encounter at night and a man of God that I used to listen to back in 2002, a man of God appeared. And I'm not, I can't tell you the whole dream. It's very short, but I don't want to um, reveal because it has a lot to do with my call and the anointing on my life and the destiny. But this man of God appeared to me and to my wife. And there were a few, uh, just a few others there. And this man of God, when he appeared and when I saw him, I just knew God had sent him, a well-known man of God, he had sent him to give me a message from heaven. Okay? And so he prayed over my wife and I. And that's it. There are other details I've left out on purpose. But what I'm going to say now is going to astound you because it sure floored me. So when I woke up and I wrote this down, I thought to myself, huh, you know, because I was literally just coming back to the Lord. So there were people that I used to listen to back in 2002, 2001 that I hadn't listened to for a long, long, long time. We're talking around 2017 now that I had this uh, dream, I believe it was. And so I looked that person up, I Googled them. Well, guess what? They had already gone to heaven. I think it was one or two years before that. And then I was like, whoa. I, I, I literally did not know what to say. I was like, wow. So in this experience, mm, thank you, Lord. In this experience, when I felt that the Lord sent them to give me a message, I mean, it was literally the Lord sent him to give me a message like from heaven, meaning not someone who's on the earth. Now, I've had that as well, where the Lord sends someone um, and a few people that have come to to either speak to me or encourage me in the spirit. I don't normally say that, that I didn't plan to, but Kat Kerr, Kevin Zadai, Guillermo Maldonado. Oh. I've seen Hank Kuhneman in a dream. I haven't, had a, haven't received a word from him. I've seen Robin Bullock in a dream. Oh, he has spoken to me as well. Um, and who knows? I mean, yes, it could be symbolic. It could be the Lord. It's just a man of God. That's someone that the Lord knows I recognize. And it could be God coming in that form. Very true. 
but it could be that person traveling in the spirit and they may not even remember it, but the Lord uses us while we're asleep. This is why if we remain open, if, we, if we're like, Lord, use me when you're laying down to bed, you're praying in tongues, or you read the Bible before you, you go to bed, or you're praising and worshiping before you go to bed, or you're watching a Christian movie before you go to bed, or you're just praising God and thinking about him, well, you're going to have dreams and visions and encounters because you're delighting yourself in God. And by doing so, he's going to delight himself in giving to you, giving you such wondrous experiences. And we don't always remember them, but we do sometimes, right? So, <clears throat> wow. Okay. I didn't know I was going to go that route, but let's move on. I'm sure you all want to hear more about that, but I need to stay on track. Maybe one day we can, um, I can do a video depending on how much I feel like I'm, am, I am allowed to release. All right. So let's move on to the next part. <clears throat> This was March 2nd, 2021, where I awoke and I heard, I heard four specific phrases in the spirit. And I thank God I was able to remember them when I actually woke up for real. I heard these four specific phrases the morning of March 2nd, 2021, as I was coming in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep. I heard this. Quote, it's coming from the West. Okay. Now it was either that part it's coming from, I couldn't remember the very beginning. So I wrote both possibilities. It either, it, I either heard it's coming from, or I heard it will begin in the West. Now, what is that talking about? At the moment when I heard it, I had no idea. I have some thoughts. My thoughts could be revival. <clears throat> but what's interesting is look at what happened with the, what's happening with the truckers, the convoy. Now I am in America, obviously. So the Lord is going to speak to me more than likely about America. That doesn't mean he can't speak to a servant of God about other nations, but usually the Lord will let them know about that. Amen. But in, in Canada, we know the truckers began in the West, right? And then here at the very end of February, um, in the present day, right, 2022, the convoys began in California. It began in the West, and they're already here in D.C. But see, the fake news media is, is not showing that because they're too busy distracting people with Russia, Ukraine. Distractions. Because they don't want people to rise up and to see what's happening. Also with Hillary. So distraction is a powerful thing, but it is up to a person whether they allow distraction to affect them or not. Think about that. <clears throat> so that was the first thing I heard. It's coming or it will begin in the West. Kind of seems to fit the whole convoy thing. And now it may fit that. And it may fit something else as well, because God is just multi-layered. He's awesome like that. All right. But I don't really know. So that's that. Can't tell you what I, what I don't know. The next thing I heard was very clear. Very cool. And I heard this approximately that morning. Um, oh, the first thing I heard, looks like I did have the time here, about 6.05 a.m. That's when I heard that first thing. Around 6.35 a.m., as I said, I was in and out of sleep. This was the next thing I heard. I heard a woman speak. And I just instantly knew that this woman stood up. I didn't see a woman. I just knew it. A, I, a woman stands up among a large number of people. And she says this Supreme judge, Supr the Supreme judge is coming. Whoa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whoa, powerful, powerful. Now, I will, I will tell you what that reminded me of, okay? I'm not saying this is what it was, but it is what it reminded me of. Let me turn to, if you have your Bible, go ahead and turn with me to Proverbs. Proverbs right after the Psalms. And we are turning to Proverbs 
let me see here. Yes, Proverbs 1, verse 20. Check this out. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief concourses. Or the grave. That's what it means, I guess. At the openings of the gates in the city, she speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn at my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you, because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded, because you disdained all my counsel and would have none of my rebuke. I would also will laugh at your calamity. So that's uh, Proverbs 1, verse 20 through 26. Mm. Anyway, you can finish reading that. But it reminded me, could it be that this woman that I heard was the spirit of wisdom? It could be. I don't know. All right. The third thing I heard on that day, that morning, was this. The time for the birth of a nation has come. And the last thing I heard around 6.50 a.m., so it was around 45 minutes or so that I heard these four statements, the last thing I heard was, remember my words. Now, something that the Lord has placed on my heart the last few, um, the last week or two is... And it just keeps coming it's coming to me, so I may as well say it now. I believe the Lord just taught me something very important regarding prophecy, regarding the prophetic. I see you, demonic spirit. I bind you and cast you out. You're not welcome here. Get out. You are forbidden. Now. Yes, okay. <clears throat> so this is what I, what the Lord taught me in the last week about prophecy and the prophetic and he broke it down in a way to where i can explain it to you very easily and if you remember this then this will help you tremendously even if you are not prophetic or if you're not a prophet it'll help you to understand okay when when we hear a prophet a prophetess or a person speaking under a prophetic anointing speaks something from the lord we have to remember that what the person let's say me for example what i am saying and we'll take an we'll take an example the time for the birth of a nation has come i heard that in my spirit so i just repeated it the time for the birth of a nation has come okay now this i heard last year march 2nd 2021 though i spoke it into the natural realm okay Let's pretend right now, the natural realm, though I'm speaking it, all I am doing is giving a voice to what God has spoken from the eternal realm, a realm where there is no time. God sees past, present, future all at once, all at once. Now, our human minds cannot even begin to imagine that. I, as a vessel, speak what I hear God speak from the other realm, but only God knows what time period, year, month, week, day, day, date, time. Only He knows when that's being accomplished. But He uses vessels in the natural realm who yield to the Spirit so that we can hear and see and sense and taste and smell and interact with the eternal spiritual realm and then we give a voice to god into this realm but though we speak something such as the time for the birth of a nation has come to our carnal ears we hear it as oh it's come like now not realizing not perceiving that god is speaking it from his perspective and his perspective is seen all at once we don't know if he's looking at uh, summer 2022. We don't know if he's looking at December 2022. We don't know if the Lord is saying 2023 or later on. 
on such things. But our job is to hear and speak. That's our obedience. And the people who are focused only on the carnal, on the natural, the people who yield themselves to the flesh more than the spirit, the people who reject the Holy Spirit and the working of the Holy Spirit, will always be in their own minds stuck in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, where they depend always on their own mind and their own understanding. Therefore, they are fools before God, but they think themselves so very wise. Hypocrites, Pharisee-like, arrogant, but there's no need for it. Now, from those perspectives, we, we those people, will hear God speak. No, they will hear someone speak a prophetic word and they don't understand it's God. They always attribute it to the person. You said this, you said that. When I read those comments and when I hear about that, I instantly discern those people don't believe God speaks through other people. And now I'm sharing this with you all, my viewers, so that you can discern it as well. It doesn't mean you have to comment, right? Just because you're shown something doesn't mean God needs you to speak about it. We have to be led by the Spirit, Romans 8, 14. So, it looks like this video turns, turned out into a teaching, which is pretty cool. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So when you hear people say and say, you said this, and if th this doesn't happen, then you needed it. Well, that person literally is saying, they're indirectly saying, I don't believe God actually speaks. Therefore, I'm going to accuse you because you claim that this is going to happen. And they're just completely missing the whole uh, way of the Lord when it comes to prophecy, that a person is prophesying a true servant of God is prophesying only what they're hearing God say. So that person who is accusing that the voice God is using is actually accusing God. And in their ignorance, they do not perceive it. That's dangerous ground to be on. But Lord, please forgive all these people who speak against your servants, for they know not what they do. Okay, so what is, you know, let me sum up what we, what I just explained now. And I honestly, I got more revelation as I was speaking. And I was like, whoa, basically this, when God is speaking through a servant like Hank Kuhneman, Robin Bullock, Kat Kerr, and so forth, if God through them does not specifically say this month or this year or a specific date, which honestly God doesn't do very often from what I've seen. From what I've learned, he doesn't do that very often. And sometimes the Lord will give a month and a date, a month and a day, but he won't give the year. Amen? So, what I'm saying is this. We have to remember when God is speaking, God is speaking from the realm of where he sees all. And so if no time frame is mentioned, we have to remember the person speaking it into the present or speaking it at the present moment, it doesn't necessarily mean that word is for the present. I hope that makes sense. Wow. That gets me excited. Wow, because that's just, that's just so awesome. This is something the Lord directly revealed to me over the last few days. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, well, let's move forward. Um, okay, check this out. This is this is pretty cool. Now, last year, I began the YouTube channel. Not this one, right? Because you guys know the first one was attacked. It was come against. It was terminated. But then I began the new one. And look where we are now. In a third of the time, the Lord has brought this channel and it is exploding to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, your birds are singing. Singing your praises. <laughs> so last year, when I began the first YouTube channel, it was on February 14th, 2021. That was the first day. So I had this dream about three weeks later on March 6, 2021. And in this dream, all I saw was a glimpse of seeing many, many comments on my YouTube channel. So that was exciting to see. Now, I think that honestly manifest is beginning to manifest now a year later many, many comments. But yet the dream was given to me a year before. Only God knows the timing. Very mysterious, Lord. All right. 
<clears throat> Let me move along here, move ahead. Uh, okay, okay, so something very interesting about March 11th last year, 2021, is this. March, on March 11th, 2021, Biden, the illegitimate jackal in the White House who actually thinks he's in charge and he's not, he addresses the nation finally after his 50th day in his illegitimate position. Yes, I said it because that's what God says. And on that day, 311, I also looked it up. It was also one year since the since March 11th, 2020, when the World Health Organization announced that that COVID was a pandemic. When we know in truth it's a pandemic, scandemic, and that's the truth. So now that this year came along. March 11th, 2022, it's been two years since that first announcement of this being a pandemic. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. I think we should be getting to the yes. All right. So this is what I basically intended to get to, which was the dream about Trump. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, rabbit trails of the Holy Spirit leading and a little bit of insight into a couple of things, a little bit of teaching regarding the type of visitations and experiences you can have. Some of you may have had them and you don't even, you didn't even know, but now this is confirmed or shed light. The Holy Spirit is so good to do that. So I see a flashlight right now. The Holy Spirit is like a flashlight shining light upon things you all have been through, maybe heard, maybe seen that you didn't understand what it could be. Well, maybe now you have just a little bit more information or maybe even complete um, a lot more understanding. <clears throat> all right, so this was the dream that I meant to get to. And remember what I just spoke. Wow, I didn't even realize it. Remember what I just spoke about God speaking from the eternal realm and the mouthpiece of God speaking it into the present tense, how that doesn't necessarily mean those words are going to happen in the present. Okay. So this is a dream I had on April 1st, 2021 about Trump. I am on a college like campus and I had been speaking to some guys about the Lord. I am outdoors and one of the guys catches up to me. I, I suppose I was done speaking. He catches up to me and he's a bit upset and he asks me how to know if we will be in the tribulation. My answer within this dream, I think it was the dream experience. I'll just say dream, dream experience. My answer to him was none of us who are here now will even be alive because we are not the generation. Next, I told him that this shall be a sign, like in the dream I prophesied, which was like, whoa. <laughs> in the dream, I said, this shall be a sign that this year Trump will be reinstated as president of the United States, says the Lord. The man was excited and ran away screaming what he heard me say, telling others. Now, I had this last year in April, right? April 1st, and I said it. And so when I wrote the dream down, obviously, because of what I said, I assumed it was going to be that same year. But what did we just speak on? What did the Lord just teach me in the last few days that I just communicated with you? That when God speaks, now in this dream or dream experience, if I'm prophesying, it's not me, it's the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit is saying, this shall be a sign that this year, well, first of all, in this dream, scene, encounter, I don't know what year it was. But in my heart, I do personally believe it is 2022 because I remember the time travel <clears throat> translation experience that Manuel Johnson had into the year 2022. So look for it. Be expectant, anticipate it, be full of joy, because that is the nature of God. And if you want to be the opposite, well, then go, you, 
Go, you can act like the devil, but that's your choice, right? <clears throat> There's no need for that, though. God loves you, and he doesn't want you to be in doubt, unbelief, suspense. Get into Christ, in his presence, in his word. Set your mind upon the things of God, and it won't be that difficult to remain hopeful. Love always hopes. 1 Corinthians 13. Perfect love casts out fear. So if you are in fear, you haven't allowed love to overcome you. But you have to allow God. God is love. You have to allow Him to overpower your thoughts, your opinions, your feelings, your emotions. Let God be God. Wow, this was different. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the videos that come up here on the screen and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed just yet, tap the button that comes up here, the circular button with me standing there. Tap that, click subscribe, turn notification bells on because we're giving away free books Christian things to help you in your walk every 500 subscribers. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you later on today.